So these were rational equations. Well, we have a same situation, similar situation here. Why? Because log is not defined everywhere. So let's start with a simple equation, like log base 5 of x is 3, and this is problem 50, on page 515. So we have to choose one method. So I'll say choose. But you have to choose either this method or this method. It's up to you. I'm not telling you which one is better because it may be better for me to choose the first one. It may be better for you to choose the second one. It doesn't matter. But you have to choose one or the other. Either state domain or check at the end. Check solutions. One or the other. I will use this one because it's easier for me. You can say I don't care for that. I want to use this. That's fine. Use that. So in this case, I have the equation log base 5 of x is 3. I know that log is applied to x. I know that log has to be applied to numbers that are greater than 0. So then uh, when I solve the equation, I'll make sure that it's a number greater than 0. If it's not, I'll say not acceptable. And now I know from here that I can change this equation into an exponential equation. Start with the base, go counterclockwise, and raise 5 to the third power equals x. We know that 5 to the third is 125, so x equals 125. It's definitely correct. It's a great number greater than 0. And I'll say done. If you're not using the uh, method of stating the domain, then you have to go back and check. Okay, that's fine. Uh, plug in 125, log base 5 of 125. 5 raised to the third power is 125, so that's correct. So it's up to you which method is better for you. So let's work on one more. So you see the benefit of knowing how to condense. And then we'll have a lot more next time. So log base 6 of x plus 5 plus log base 6 of x, they say equals 2. I'm still using the first method, which forces me to write that x plus 5 is what type of number? What should it be? Well, definitely greater than 0. And the same thing here, x must be greater than 0. I'm interested in the domain of this sum of functions. This one says greater than negative 5, and this one has as greater than 0. On the real line, I have between negative 5 and infinity, and I have between 0 and infinity. But I need both, both functions to exist at the same time. So the common domain is 0 to infinity, where I see green and, and pink, the common domain. And the next step, I will apply what I learned in the previous section. What did I learn? That the sum of two logs is really this. So the sum of two logs is coming from log applied to a product. If I want to go back, log applied to a product is log of x plus 5 plus log of 6, uh, log base 6 of x. And now I will convert it, starting with the base and going counterclockwise. 6 to the second power, which is 36, equals x squared 
plus 5x. Oh, I, I said 5 and I wrote 6. I distributed and 6 raised to the second power equals this. I know that this is quadratic. I know that this factor is into 9 and 4. I know that I get x equals negative 9 and then x equals 4 with a big question mark. But I did due diligence and I already have the domain. I know that this has no place in the domain that is greater than 0. This is the only one. And I will say yes, since it's a number greater than 0.